It's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Think's Lab, where today Kopi and I are visiting the lab because, uh, well, we haven't heard from the minions in a little while, and uh, it's been a couple days. Last I heard, Kevin was getting this letter, or got this letter or book from Mojang, and, and Dave was pretty excited about it. He didn't open it because, you know, it's not really nice or legal to open other people's mail. But uh, he was really excited about it. I haven't heard anything since. So, Dave, tell me about this awesome book from Mojang. It, it, did, did, did they give Kevin, like, some sort of commendation? Like, they liked his video or anything? Anything? Or his inventions that he's made in Minecraft? Something like that? Poor, poor Kevin. What, what do you mean? I, I thought he got a letter from Mojang that was really cool. Mojang has staged an intervention and banned Kevin from using any TNT? He has been so mopey the past few days, and I'm not sure what we can do to cheer him up. He just isn't the same anymore. Well, I, I can imagine. I mean, the TNT is Kevin's life, and they took it away from him. He can't use it ever again. He must be devastated. I don't even know what Kevin would be like without TNT. He is so happy when things are exploding. I mean, I'll admit it is kind of a pain sometimes when we have to clean up after him, but it's really, really fun. And I love to see a smile on his face, but I don't think we'll see one ever again if he can't play with TNT. What am I going to do? I mean, uh, can I go down there and cheer him up or at least try? You can head down and show everyone the newest minion, but I doubt you'll see him down there. He's been hibernating and sulking. Sorry, thing, not much to show you today. Maybe when his spirits get back up. Oh, well, wow. So that's going to be kind of a short video today. Oh, man. And well, oh, well, Dave, it's not your fault. It is Mojang's fault for, for making it so hard on Kevin. Kopi, don't you feel terrible? Oh man, this is this is just horrible news. I guess I'll go find the newest minion in Things Lab and, and and I'll look for Kevin and see if I can at least lift his spirits a little bit. Maybe we can go out and I don't know, go fishing or something. So let's find the newest minion. Oh, there she is, right there. It is Leilani, and you guys can see the lucky commenters comment on screen right now. And if you're looking to get your own minion in Think Slab, stick around to the end of the video, and I'll show you how. Now, none of these look like Kevin. I'm looking for the one-eyed Kevin, and I don't see him anywhere. Maybe he's having some food. Maybe he's having some food. He's actually, if he's depressed enough, he's probably not even eating. Um... Oh, you know what? Let, let's check his let's check his little hidey hole spot here. Ah, oh. oh, that's his mailbox, I think. Uh, what do we got here? Let's see. Oh, he set up a computer in here. That's pretty cool. You know what, guys? I don't see him anywhere. You know what? I have an idea. Let's let us let us get on his computer here and uh, get on the internet. See if we can find something else that isn't TNT. Because we can't use TNT. Maybe he can use something else. All right, let's search Minecraft explosives. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, missiles. Oh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Let's do missiles. So let's do Minecraft missiles. Ooh. ICBM. 
Ooh, this might be good. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay, let's check out the official website. Blow up stuff. <laughs> Missiles, explosives, and grenades to blow your mind. This is what we're looking for. Oh, he's gonna love this. I know exactly what to do. We are gonna be working. Kobe, where are you? Where are you, girl? We are gonna be working all night long. Come on. Come on, let's go. Wait, where is she? Okay. We've got a ton of work to do, Kopi. Let's go this way, and we will find ourselves an empty room, and we have some mining and some building to do. This is gonna be awesome. Kevin, I'm trying to cheer you up. I hope this kind of helps. It is an intercontinental ballistic missile launcher, and we have some missiles for you. <laughs> Let me wait, 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 wait. Let me show you how to use this. You're already in the control panel. Way to go. So you set coordinates, and uh, yes, the missiles are right in there. These are all the ones I built for you. Um, some are for demonstration. There's all four tiers of missiles, one, two, three, and four. Uh, uh -oh. You're already <laughs> grabbing them. Okay, all right, well, um, just just be careful. Uh, we're not starting with the antimatter missile. <laughs> Come on, man, <laughs> please, 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 please. Let's go all the way down. Keep going, keep going. Nope, back, yes, there we go. Let's do the conventional missile. Now, the first thing you need to do, you gave it power already, so let's open up the control panel. And let's set an X coordinate maybe about 100 to 200 blocks away from the lab, and then we can evaluate it later. Kevin. No, 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 no. Those are the coordinates for this city. Are you serious? Kevin, why don't you change those? Because we do not want to be putting that. Oh, man. All right. Well, if it'll cheer you up, we can hit the city with these missiles. That's fine. And there's the first one. Eh, I know. It, it's kind of a weak one. It's just a conventional missile. Go ahead and try the incendiary missile because you already did. So let's see what that does. It's a little more exciting. Oh. Woohoo! Look at it light on fire. And uh, obviously if that was a wooden target, it would be more fun. So go ahead with the third tier one missile and that is the shrapnel missile. And uh -oh. this one is a really... Okie dokie, this one's a really cool effect. <laughs> Watch this one. Boom! Look at all that shrapnel, that flaming shrapnel. If there was anybody there, they'd be so dead. Uh, let's see, let's try some tier two. Go ahead and uh, hit them with the cluster missile. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Okay, and that's kind of like a bunker buster type of missile. It goes straight through. Uh, let's see. The next tier two is the fragmentation missile, and we're starting to get into some of the explosions that you like, Kevin. <laughs> Are you having fun? All right, let's see. How about now? You having fun now? <laughs> Look at those explosions. And now let's just jump in to tier three missiles. Uh, yeah, go ahead and start with the anti-gravitational missile. It's a little different than you'll expect, but go ahead and put it in there. Yep. And you can see the little block at the top, and you'll see why in a second. Check it out. Now, going closer, and you can see... Really cool. It sucks all the blocks into the air and kind of makes them cross all over on top of each other. Pretty cool, everything all twisted up like that. Pretty awesome, and, and the sound effect is really cool as well. <laughs> all right, let's do another one, and look at those rail tracks all twisted up. Let's try the nuclear missile. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, exactly. This is what you're looking for. I know you're going to feel better after this one. Oh, man. <laughs> Did you love that? Awesome, right? Oh, that explosion is so loud, and look at what it did. And it even made a mushroom cloud. Uh, yeah, go ahead and try the nuclear cluster missile. It's like a bunch of nuclear missiles at once. Do it! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! 
Oh, man. Multiple payloads. Here we go. Look at all those warheads on that thing. Yeah. Oh, Kevin. That was destruction. That was serious destruction. Okay, yeah, go with the antimatter missile. It's a tier four. And it's not as impressive of a sound, but it makes a big crater. So set that thing off, and that'll be our final tier four missile. Uh, the other one was just to show you that they do have it. And wah, wah, wah. Yeah! I wanted to be quiet during that, so you can hear the whole sound and check out the crater that it made when it impacted the surface. I mean, that is massive, guys. Wow, Kevin, you did a good job of destroying the city. Wow, do you feel better? Hey, wait, 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 no, 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 that is demonstration purposes only. That will open a black hole in the city, so don't, oh my God! Kevin! Oh no! You just opened up a black hole in the center of the city. There it is! It's gonna take all of the blocks in one by one and destroy the city. Are you happy now? Are you happy? Because, yes, these people are not even gonna be able to rebuild the city because there's a black hole there! You can't rebuild, it's over! <laughs> Oh, man, what are we going to do with you, Kevin? I have no idea. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this episode of Things Lab and you want to try it out for yourself, link in, is in the description to the mods that you used. It is uh, Industrial Craft, Universal Electricity, and the ICBM mods for 1.6. Now, if you're looking to get your own minion in Things Lab, all you have to do is like this video and let's try to get to 2,500 likes again, guys. And then post a comment below with a little bit about the video, what your favorite part was, what you did like, what you didn't like, or about a future Things Lab episode you'd like to see. Even suggest a plot. Then include your minion's name and whether you'd like it to be a boy or a girl in that comment. This video was actually suggested by one of you guys. I did not take a screenshot of the comment because it was from a while ago, but I'm taking screenshots of all your suggestions now. And if you end up suggesting a plot for Things Lab, I'll be putting your comment at the end of the video as well. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching and of course, noodle on.